everyone and welcome back to another video. We have got a little bow and tea haul slash review for this video. I realised that it had been a while since I've ordered anything from bow and tea and it's been ages since I've even just looked at the website. So I went on the other day, had a little browse and they've got lots of nice things at the moment so I decided to pick up a few bits and yeah I'll share my thoughts. Majority of this stuff was on the new in section on the website so I'm guessing most of it is still pretty new and kind of like their newer collections that they've released recently. As always I've got a mixture of leggings, shorts, sports bras, all different ranges, all different colours. So yeah let's get stuck in. So I'm going to start off with one of the matching sets that I picked up. So this is shorts and a matching sports bra and I think this is from like their latest launch so this is kind of like the newest bits that they've got in at the moment the world is a little bit barbie crazy at the moment so i obviously had to go for this pink color to match the vibe so these are the endurance super sculpt seamless mini shorts and the color is fuchsia so this is what they look like they're just kind of a standard pair of little gym shorts they have got the bow and tee logo on the middle of the waistband there but it is the same colour so it's very discreet. It's like a kind of rubber sort of transfer across the middle and that is the only bit of detail that is on this short. High waisted, they are quite impressive on the waistband as well and yeah they come down to quite a nice length on your leg. They're not too short but they're not too long either and um, they're just kind of like the perfect length in my opinion. And then on the back they are pretty plain again, ribbed waistband but no other detail other than that. And then the sports bra to match. So this is the Purpose Super Sculpt Seamless Crossback Sports Bra also in the colour Fuchsia. So this is what it looks like from the front. Again, it's pretty plain. It has got a bit of a V neckline, but it's not too deep. And it's got that same little rubber bow and tee logo across the front. It does come down to quite a nice length. It has got a little bit more coverage than some other sports bras that are out there, which is always quite nice. And it has got removable pads as well. And then on the back, the straps just come down and cross kind of back onto that band along the bottom. So again pretty plain, not really much detail on them at all but I feel like with this colour you don't want too much detail. I feel like the colour kind of is enough. Fit wise on these I thought that this set fit quite nicely. I picked the shorts up in a medium which is my usual size in bottoms and the sports bra I picked up in a size small which is my usual size in sports bras and tops. And yeah I would say that they're pretty true to size. The shorts have got quite a lot of stretch to them so they're not too tight. They sit quite nicely on your waist. They do give you a little bit of compression as well so they do suck you in a little bit which I really like. They're not the most flattering on the bum and they don't have like any sort of detail, any contouring, any scrunch or anything. So yeah, they're not the most flattering. So if that is something that you kind of look for in leggings and shorts, I would maybe avoid these ones. But I mean, I personally still really like them. And the sports bra, same again, the sports bra is nice and stretchy and it does fit quite nicely. However, it's not the most supportive sports bra out there. I mean, you would probably get away with it for like a weight session just not any kind of jumping around or running or anything but other than that it does fit really nicely it's a nice material nice and stretchy and the color is also really really nice as well price for this one shorts are 32 pounds and the sports bra is 26 pounds that is one thing that i do like about bow and tee i feel like it is definitely one of the more affordable activewear brands and the stuff is still like pretty good quality um so yeah that was the first set that i picked up. So I also decided to pick up a pair of leggings from the same collection as well just with it being the sort of like newest release I thought I would kind of get a few bits from that. These are called the Vitality Super Sculpt Seamless Full Length Leggings and the colour is called Electric Blue. This collection does have quite a lot of like bright summery colours so they've got that pink, they've got blue, I think there's like a lime green and like a sort of peachy orange as well so it's a lot of like nice bright summery colours which are perfect for this time of year. These are the same as the shorts are just a different color and a bit longer they've got that rubber bow and tee logo on the front high waisted ribbed waistband again quite compressive full length leggings don't have much detail on them at all and again on the back not much going on i do really really like this color and we probably say that blue gym stuff 
is my favourite. I do like a good blue. But yeah, similar to the shorts, these fit really nicely. They are really, really stretchy. They're the same sort of material as the shorts. It is kind of like a cottony, quite thick actually. Um, nice and stretchy though and really really comfy when they're on. Same as the shorts, they're not the most flattering on the bum. Yeah, they still fit really really nicely. The only thing with these is I, I did find them to be quite long. I kind of tried to show it in the try on clip but they were really like bunched up around my ankles. I didn't bother like rolling them up or anything but yeah, they were quite long for me. I am five foot six. So kind of like average height. I wouldn't say that I'm small. These are definitely on the longer side. And other than the length, they did fit really, really nicely. And yeah, 36 pounds. So I feel like for that price, you can't really go wrong. There's definitely better leggings out there, but there's also worse as well. So next up, we have got another matching set. So this time we've got leggings and a sports bra. So these are from a different collection from the previous few things, but they were still on the new in section on the website. So definitely one of like the newer releases that Bow and T have done. So this time we have got the Advantage full length leggings with pockets in the colour slate blue and the matching sports bra which is the set twist bust sports bra also in slate blue. So these ones are a bit more of a kind of like silky material, kind of similar to the Lululemon Align leggings, like that similar sort of material, like quite thin, really, really stretchy. So again, we've got a high waist. This time we've got like a kind of like cross waistband. It kind of like wraps around and goes down into a bit of a V. As the name says, the leggings have also got pockets on the side there. They have got seams running down both sides, full length leggings and on the back again they're pretty plain. They have got a little rubber bow and tee logo across the back and there is a seam that runs down the middle. I do like how that middle seam stops at the bottom and it doesn't come right round onto the front because that can be very unflattering. And then the sports bra to match. So this is actually a lot smaller than what I expected. There's not much to it at all but I do really really like the design. So you've got that same kind of grey blue colour. Quite thin straps and it does come down into quite a deep V and then it like twists in the middle which I think is like quite a nice little detail. On the back you've got adjustable straps and you've got the Bow & Tee logo in that sort of like rubber print there as well. Getting into the fit of these, the leggings I uh, did really like the fit of. They are nice and stretchy, really comfy and I found the length on these to be a lot better. I do think that that cross kind of waistband that comes down into the V, it can be quite flattering on your waist and it can kind of give the illusion that it's like sucking you in a little bit which is nice. Obviously I've not wore them to do a workout yet but I do think that these would fall down a little bit and there's no like compression or anything on the waistband and they are that sort of like kind of slippy material and I do think that the minute you start to like move around that they will slide down and you'll constantly be having to adjust them. I've not wore them to do a workout so I can't be a hundred percent sure on that but just kind of based on other leggings that I've had that are similar they do slide down and I find that really really annoying in the gym. The sports bra as I mentioned is a lot smaller than what I was expecting. As nice as the design is it's just not that practical in my opinion and it's also not supportive at all. The pink one that I said wasn't supportive that is ten times more supportive than this one. Just not practical for the kind of workouts that I do anyways. The leggings were £38 and the sports bra was £28. So a little bit more expensive than the previous ones but still a little bit more affordable than other activewear brands. Okay so up next we have got another pair of leggings and these are from a different collection again. So these are the Power High Waist Define Luxe Leggings and I've picked up the colour Sage. So I basically picked these leggings up because I wanted to see if they were what I thought they were. So basically a few years ago now I want to say, Bow & Tee did a collaboration with Megan Grubb and they brought out these 
leggings that I absolutely loved. They were like really soft, really flattering, really comfy, flattering on the waist, flattering on the bum, and I loved these leggings. And then after the collaboration, Bowen T released the same leggings as part of like a different collection. And yeah, I did buy quite a few pairs of them, like I said, I did really like them. I wore the black pair to death, pretty much, and they ended up ripping. So I wanted to then order a new pair like the same style same size but just like a new pair that wasn't ripped and I ordered what I thought was the same leggings but the material and the fit was completely different so I was a bit disappointed by them and I couldn't find those original leggings on the website anywhere so I thought that they had stopped doing them however I came across these when I was looking on the website and these looked very very similar so I thought I'll pick myself up a pair and see if they've gone back to that old material and that old fit that they did used to have and they've done it these are the same as the old leggings that I used to love and I honestly could not be happier that I found them again. They're high-waisted seamless leggings, really, really compressive on the waistband. They do suck you in and kind of give you that nice hourglass shape. Full-length leggings, again, the length on these is pretty much perfect for me. And then on the back, they're very, very flattering on the bum. So they've got a scrunch bum and then they've also got a bit of contouring. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but they've got like a bit of contouring that kind of goes around the outside. Of your bum it's not too in your face when they're on you can't really see it it just kind of makes it really really flattering pretty much the material on these is so so soft i just absolutely love the feel of this and it's really really stretchy really comfy as well they fit really really well and pretty much perfectly i would say i've not really got much to complain about with these leggings at all. I really like the material, I really like the fit, I really like this colour as well and I am so so glad that they have brought these leggings out again. Out of everything that I've tried from Bowen T, these are definitely my favourite and my kind of like top recommendation. I absolutely love these leggings. Price wise, these are a little bit more expensive so these are £42 which are the most expensive leggings out of what I've picked up but I do definitely think they're worth the price. They are kind of comparable to the Alphalete Amplify leggings which if you know me are my all time favourite leggings and these do come quite close to those and they're quite a bit cheaper than the Amplify leggings so definitely a good cheaper alternative and yeah love these ones and then last but not least I've got another pair of shorts so these shorts are from the same collection as the green leggings that I've just showed you as I mentioned I was hoping that they were going to be what I was expecting so I thought we'd pick up a pair of shorts as well these are pretty much just exactly the same but a shorts version so these are the contour high waist defined luxe mini shorts and this is the color mocha so again, pretty similar. They've got that high waist, compressive waistband, nice soft material, seamless shorts. Again, same as the pink ones, these do come down to quite a nice length. And then on the back, same as the leggings, they've got the Bowen T logo stitched in, in on the back. They've got that scrunch bum and then they've got the contouring that goes like around and under the bum as well. These fit pretty much exactly the same as the leggings. I've not really got anything bad to say about these. I picked them up in a medium as well and I would say that they're pretty true to size. Not really got much else to say. I've kind of gone through everything on the leggings and these are pretty much the same. So price for the shorts. So the shorts are £32, so they're obviously a little bit cheaper than the leggings. £32 for these, I feel like, is not bad at all. And that was everything that I picked up in my order from Bowen T. And overall, I'm pretty happy with everything. Pretty obvious one, but my top recommendation, favourite things that I picked up were the high waist define luxe shorts and leggings. I think that's what they're called. The green and the brown shorts that I kind of showed last. I absolutely love those. They're definitely my top recommendation from Bowen T. Definitely up there with like some of my favourite shorts and leggings that you can get. And as I mentioned, they are a little bit cheaper than a lot of other activewear brands as well. The pink set and the blue leggings that were all from the same collection. For me, they're kind of like somewhere in the middle. Not the best, not the worst. They fit really nicely, they are comfy and the colours are nice but I just feel like 
they could be a little bit more flattering especially around the bum and yeah the leggings were a little bit too long for me as well my least favorite thing that i picked up was the slate blue sports bra and legging set not because like it's bad but it's just kind of out of everything that i picked up that was like my least favorite it does fit well but for me it's just not practical that sports bra I feel like you couldn't really do much without feeling like you're kind of on show. And with the leggings, I do think they are that type of material that you need to constantly be pulling them up every time you move, pretty much. Which, yeah, you don't want to be doing in the gym. So that is it for this week's video. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.